shit. Yeah, yeah, there, 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 inside. Woo! Shit. Wait, wait, Michael, wait, wait. My ears. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, here we go. Hey guys, our friends told us about Dara and made us curious. Where is this? And what is going on here? You will find out now. So guys, we're now in the special area where like, uh, boys can play with their toys as long as uh, they go, as the day goes. So uh, yeah, we're basically in a country, <laughs> in Fata. So uh, we're like very close to Waziristan now. Um, our friend Meran uh, got approval from the army to be escorted here and to take some videos and to check this place out. I hope you guys can hear me because it's a bit loud because everybody is trying the guns and like uh, how they're like charging and all kind of stuff. So I made some videos. Uh, before you can check them out. Um, well, this is more like a men's like, uh, department. Michael's actually enjoying it and like they're like checking out the new guns, the coffee guns and everything we can find here. Yeah. Gun making in Dara Adam Kel is a cultural tradition of the old Pashtun people, especially of the Afridi tribe, who settled here a long time ago. We don't know many things about guns and I can definitely realize that it is a very creative process. So what do people here do? 1. They have an original gun of any kind of model, then manufacture the whole parts of a gun from different kind of materials, being it iron, plastic or other kind of metal. 2. They put it together by wielding the metal, bending it into shape. 3. Manufacture the bullets 4. Test them All of the guns here are replicas. Their quality is very impressive though, because sometimes you cannot make a difference between the real gun and the replica. People here pass gun manufacturing down from generation to generation and it takes a lot of creativity to do so. This is what we understood while visiting this place of a huge touristic potential. People are super creative. It's a cultural pride to own a gun in the tribal areas and sometimes they can make something very unique with their own hands. What do you think about this? About what? About this gun. This one? Yeah. I know this one. This is the eagle, but this, this is eagle made in Pakistan. The Pakistani copy. This was his favorite friend in the army. Yeah, this is like the only a pistol, you know? Yeah. Pistol and machine gun are the same thing. See, my dad was having like this brown version or the one that is low like this. Yes, this was this. This is the Romanian. Uh, they still use it now. It's so good. They still use it now. So 
Meran is telling me that 10 years ago every shop was a, was a gun shop. Yeah, now we're gonna go to the factory. A gun factory. Because why, when can you say that you've been to a gun factory? Like, you can say that that often, right? Okay, so we're gonna go there inside and check it out to see how it looks like. And where, did, where is he going? Okay. So yeah guys, we're basically just walking through Dara and like checking out some shows. Yeah. And yeah. Just, just uh, come in and pick whatever you like. Just for like entertainment purposes. Right? I don't much think about everything. But it looks interesting. Like it's a very interesting activity. And it's something I've never seen in my life. Maybe you're so also curious, right? Your new project, very interesting. Yeah. How how do you call him? What, does it have a name? Okay. I want to take a picture of this thing. This is beautiful. I mean, this is like the I know. Pakistani version of the Uzi. This is the Pakistani Uzi. You know? Yeah, but it's a new project. It's a see Pakistani Uzi, and you look at this, this, and you can somehow. This is like the king of Jugar in Pakistan. Meran, this is the king of Jugar in Pakistan. This is strong shit as well. This is king of Jugar. This is king of Jugar in Pakistan, yes. This is Jugar king. This is a normal Saturday evening for us here. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying. One has a higher scope. Yeah. Other friends like enjoying here and taking a lot of pictures. A lot of fun. So why not? <laughs> no, I know. One of them uses things. No. Yeah, yeah, there, 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 inside. Woo! Yeah. One more, one more. One more. Shit. Wait, wait, Michael, wait, wait. My ears. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You said a stick twist. Woohoo! Holy shit. You said a stick twist. Oh, 
to be told to let them. My father, he eats one for his heart. And then We're gonna no enjoy some milk. Yeah, this is like he balance, you know? A bit of this. And he's not a drinking person, you know? Okay, she's like me. Put on food. Yes, and now we're and with the lamb. There, there are people who drink like every day. It's very, very tasty. One of our friends born here in Dara told us that we are the first foreigners visiting this place in the last almost 20 years. The people were almost shocked to see us there and they tried to make our stay as nice as possible. Other people took advantage while visiting this place many years before, turning the whole traditional aspect of gun making in a very negative one. Which is one side of the story. I mean, people should also hear about the fact that the gunsmiths are talented, hardworking people who keep a tradition alive. Thank you guys for watching, take care and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!